But it's a whole new world. I mean, it's a world apart, you know, to live on a boat because it's it's so different from anything I knew before. Because I don't have any uh, sea background. I, I, I even used to be really scared of the sea. <laughs> The experience of uh, volunteering on the Bupana has been really interesting and I learned a lot. Living on a, on a boat and learning from sailors is, uh, is really exciting because there's always something to do on a boat. You learn you know, very different things from, from scratch, from you know, tying knots, uh, mooring a vessel or um, sewing gear um, to managing to cook a meal while the boat is rolling from side to side. It's actually a new language too. It's not just a jargon, it's, it's a new language to learn uh, in terms of sailing. I totally got over the, my fear of the sea. I can even dive now a little bit. <laughs> One of the downsides of, of sailing across the Med is that uh, you also witness a lot of pollution. And especially, I mean, just from my very short experience, uh, it seems to be mainly plastic pollution from obviously a lot of plastic bottles or cups to, to air, air beds <laughs> that we collected, two, or two air beds just uh, from the sea. Uh, all the places we sailed to uh, are facing this, these problems. In, in 15 minutes in Zakintos we collected uh, for about four bin bags full of single-use plastic. So we did that in the end for an hour and we collected around 12 bin bags full of plastic. And the next day, it was, it was back. Um, we, it, was, it was incredible. And uh, I mean, what can you do? It's, if, if there's not a strong policy behind, like, it's still gonna continue to happen. All the bad news we've had in terms of environmental catastrophes, like the, the fires or, and paradoxically the floods in some other parts uh, of the Med, have been a reminder of the emergency uh, that we fa we're facing.